Hi everyone, my name is Matt Zimmer and I am CEO at Novum Software. Today I'm going to be talking to you about integrating Gatsby into an agile workflow for great client experiences. This is probably going to be a little bit different than some of the other talks you'll hear at GatsbyConf. I'm going to be really focusing on, focusing on explaining our workflow and how we integrate Gatsby into it to really delight our customers. Before I jump into it, just to give you an idea of what we're going to cover, I'll start off explaining who we are at Novum, then talking about how we do things, and then really why we choose Gatsby and how it integrates seamlessly into our workflow. So, Novum is a customer-centric product development studio, and we utilize an agile development process across multiple customer types. So just to focus in on a few things there, number one, uh, we're a customer-centric company, which means we listen to our users and we build features and products based on what we're hearing from our users. Number two, we use an agile development process. Obviously, there are lots of software development companies that use Agile, uh, so we're not unique there. However, I just want you to have that frame of reference so that you understand our kind of thought process and mentality as we go through what our development process is. So at the end of the day, what this really means is we build and manage many products at the same time. So some of you out there probably are building your own internal product or products, and we basically operate the same way. The only difference is we're, made, we're building and managing uh, multiple at the same time. So same process, um, just you know, basically how many products uh, we're serving at the same time. So when we break down who the stakeholders are on any one of our projects, we come up with really three of them, clients, managers, and engineers. And really, regardless of whether you're building software for somebody or you're building it internally, these three stakeholders exist. So in, in our case, a client may be a third-party company that's paying us to build something. If you're building something inter internally, maybe that client is your marketing department or some other department that needs a feature to be built. But these really translate to any company type. So when we look at clients, they're looking to do things like empowering non-technical staff, reducing job timelines, or decreasing job uncertainty. Managers want to increase their release cycles. They want to have project status certainty, and they want to ease that client engineer communications that they're really stuck in the middle of. Engineers are looking to utilize the latest and greatest tool sets. Uh, they want to work autonomously whenever is possible and kind of be left alone. And really, they want to reduce that project rework. So once a task is done, they don't want to have to come back and do it again. They want it to be done right the first time. So if you're familiar with Gatsby, you'll know that some of the core pieces of it really address a lot of these issues. For instance, empowering non-technical staff. Gatsby makes it very easy to integrate CMSs that, you know, those teams can really be empowered to take on a portion of the product development without having to come back to engineering. However, Gatsby also enables improved communication by really integrating very easily into a workflow process. So at Novum, we like to say we do modern development right. What does that mean? Well, we operate fully remote and, and really as asynchronously as possible. Even our founder's remote. He's in Thailand. Uh, so whether you're a full-time employee or a part-time contractor, everybody's remote. We don't have a, we don't have a formal office. Additionally, we try to do things like recording um, recording videos or sending Slack messages rather than doing in-person or live um, live meeting times. Number two, we're manageably unmanaged, and what that means is we have small autonomous teams with very few decision makers. And each one of those teams basically is appointed a project lead, and they're really responsible for disseminating, disseminating information down to that small team and figuring out what that small team structure needs to do and really only communicating back when it's necessary. But we really trust our small teams uh, to operate on their own. 
Number three, we have very strictly organized communication. So we don't just have open Slack channels for anybody to put anything in. Uh, we've got a very organized communication process and really that process governs. So um, when we say, hey, this needs to be communicated this, this way, we mean it and, and we're not really willing to bend on, on how that communication process works. Number four, we operate in a rapid iteration and deployment. Obviously, we're agile, so that's kind of uh, along for the ride. But really, the goal here is to release early and often, get customer feedback very quickly, and really you know, improve in a continuous manner uh, rather than building very, very, very large features and releasing uh, infrequently. So that's really you know, how we get um, work done and, and how, we, um, how we build products. So as I mentioned, really process governs at Novum. So our project management board is our source of truth. If it is not on the board, uh, it didn't happen. If something hasn't moved on the board, it didn't move. So we really use that as the place, as the source of truth. So if anybody ever is not aware of what's going on, there's a single place for them to go look and really understand what is the status of a item we are working on. We manage everything through tickets. That doesn't just mean that we're putting a ticket on our board and that's all we're doing. Whether it's, docu whether it's documents, comments, anything like that, uh, we manage that through, through, through tickets. So rather than having open Slack channels, we drive communication through that ticket so that if there's any other, ever any question of, of, of did something get communicated on a task, um, you know, there is a single source to go through rather than having to rummage through um, really large backlogs of, of Slack conversations. Number three, we create strict rules on how status is communicated. So when a status moves from, let's say, work in progress to completed, there's a very uh, clear communication on who can move it and what gets communicated when it's moved and what it means when it's moved. And if something needs to come back, uh, into, into in progress, who moves that and what does it mean and who needs to be told, you know, what needs to be done. So there's very strict rules on how the status of an item is communicated. Number three, we try to use the tools as they were intended. And what I mean by that is with the flexibility of, of modern tool sets, it's very easy to really have everything integrate into everything else. And what we find is that when you do that, uh, you lose kind of that one source of truth mentality. And really by using the tools in kind of their base fashion and only integrating what's, when it's 100% necessary, it, it alleviates a lot of the problems that, that very tight integration um, will have. And last, we try not to appease everybody. Meaning, if somebody's got a problem in our process, it not, doesn't mean they're wrong and it doesn't mean that we can't change. But what we ask is that they bring that to the company and we improve over time with them. So rather than changing on a dime, we're really asking for that feedback and we'll improve our process um, with that piece of feedback in the future. So we're at the point where I tell you why we use Gatsby. And you're going to hear a lot of conversations today talking about the speed, scale, security, all those technological advantages that Gatsby have uh, has, and why you might want to use it uh, for your for your from your engineering team's perspective. I'm really going to focus here talking about workflow alignment, and really the fact that Gatsby allows and empowers us to integrate the tool into our current workflow. So rather than us having to change, Gatsby knows that it needs to work with our workflow and really integrate into what we do. And to focus, on, uh, to focus on one feature, I'm going to talk uh, quickly here about Gatsby Preview. So we use Gatsby Preview alongside our project management board on ClickUp. Basically, if you know anything about Gatsby Preview, it essentially allows you to see a preview of your build very quickly via a web link. So... The way we use it is when we uh, when we deploy, um, you'll see a uh, Gatsby basically automatically creates a deployment preview link. We then take that link and that link is dropped into our ClickUp ticket automatically. So you'll see a preview link here. Uh, 
and basically that gets appended to the specific ClickUp ticket. From there, when status is moved, people will get notifications that, hey, there's this item for you to look at and they'll be served that link automatically that they can click on and go, go, uh, go to the item to preview and make any comments on that, on that item. So what's cool about this is it actually allows our engineering teams to communicate with our testing teams as well as directly communicate to our client without having to do it on Slack where it may get lost or without having to create multiple tickets with multiple access points um, and, and manage those. So we utilize, the, we utilize the board and the structure of the board to really take advantage of that feature from, from Gatsby and make it very easy for customers to see what's going on, where the process something is in a build, and at the time that feedback's needed, have a direct line to find where the preview link is for that specific feature and get to it directly. So I know this seems like a very, very small um, feature, but it's something that basically comes with Gatsby, you know, from the, right out of the box and, and something that we can integrate in a workflow that really delights customers. So coming back to why Gatsby. So number one, it delivers bleeding edge technology. We all know that that's partly why we're here. Uh, number two, it integrates really easily into agile workflows. And rather than us having to modify our process, really Gatsby just works alongside it. And number three, it provides clients unexpected benefits. So one of the things I was just getting into was talking about really delighting our customers. One of the things we hear from our customers that come from something like WordPress is just, you know, that, that, that experience of, hey, I made a change and I got to see it instantaneously. And that's really become what, what, what customers expect. So when we're able to take something like Gatsby that has, all, of course, all these you know, front-end uh, technological advances, um, but then when we're able to lump on something that they kind of just take for granted in this you know, very quick iterative cycle of, of, of a coder making a change and then, and then seeing it live, they, they, really, they really appreciate that. And so not only do we not have to change our process, but really they don't have to change our process. And their understanding of how development works really, really makes things, um, makes things flow easier when we can deliver them what they're looking for. So that's really it. I know this is a, a simple tool, um, but it really has impacted our business and, and really delighted our customers when they've seen us being able to deliver this type of functionality to their development process. If you'd like to get in contact with me, my email's listed there, matt at novum.io, or you can head to novum.io, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Ready for the live Q&A? Let's go.